David would write another book. <laughs> Alicia would smile at him. Amanda would be kind to him. Simon's teeth would be blinding him. <laughs> if he was smiling. I wonder if I could have like a, a subtle, nice, soft, flattering light. <laughs> <laughs> Simon Cowell and his team would watch him play piano and try to slay them on the stage of the Palladium. And in the time that one song took, David would write another book. <laughs> Alicia would smile at him. Amanda would be kind to him. Simon's teeth would be blinding him <laughs> if he was smiling. But nothing now could ever spoil the dream he dreamed like Susan Boyle. I like this already. Yes, John. Let's see if we're, we haven't been in it yet. The fact is, he never thought he'd ever get to be in front of millions of people doing his thing on TV. 30 years of playing in piano bars and pubs, dodging glasses when they're thrown, being thrown out of clubs. When your children ask, Daddy, when are you coming home? This game is not the same when you're just daddy on the phone. So he sits at the piano and he tries to get prepared, thinking he'll write it in third person so he doesn't feel as scared to sing about himself to a bunch of strangers in the dark. But then Britain has got talent and he wants to make his mark. Paul Potts won the first year and said it was insane. The second year George Sampson won singing in the rain. Lost Voice Guy season 12 And last year Colin Thackeray So why not me? <laughs> yeah, why yeah, not you? Why not you? That's what he said His youngest boy One night in bed Dad, why not you? Go and show them what you do And even though you'll be a wreck At least you'll meet Anton Dead on stage at this stage in his life with an expensive mortgage and a pensive wife <laughs> his youngest son Alfie says what's it all about if he had any hair left he'd pull it out his teenage son said uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> his dad taught him to play piano but he didn't live to see his son at the famous theatre, performing on TV. If he didn't see it through, imagine how sad the look on the faces of both his lads, who always tell him, you're the greatest showman, Dad. <laughs> and they'll see me on BGT. No more third person, just daddy. This is me. Hello, everybody. Come on. I can see a couple of people in here that are in my usual audiences. You know, I call them the acronymed community. Do you know what I mean with the L's, the G's, the B's, the T's? I always remember the first four because when you say them together, they sound like a Spanish coastal town. LGBT. <laughs> Sounds like somewhere where you go for an all-inclusive fortnight. Not that I expect you to know what all-inclusive means, Simon. <laughs> there is a Q plus on the end of it, LGBTQ plus, but I think that sounds like a telly channel. Sounds like you've seen what the gays were up to an hour ago. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> She's very funny. I'm here to perform a song for you people. Would you like to hear a little bit of a song? Yeah. Before I do, I wonder if I could have, like, a, a subtle, nice, soft, flattering light. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very funny, very funny. Can we have the lights back up? Thank you. Um, <laughs> OK, here we go, here we go. Shh. <laughs> 
How many times do I have to try to tell you that I'm sorry for the things I've done? Ooh. ooh. <laughs> but when you try to tell me, that's when I have to try to tell you, hey! This kind of trouble's only just begun. No one's singing along yet, it's fine, just watch. Ooh. <laughs> I tell myself too many times, why don't you learn to keep your big mouth shut? <laughs> That's why it hurts so bad to hear the word that keep on falling from your mouth. <laughs> Tell me why? Oh, wow, what a din. I'm not miming, no. <laughs> why? Sing along, come on. <laughs> Why? If it moves, it lives. Be still, be still. Be st the batteries will run out. Newspaper, we know. Yeah. It's alive, it's alive, it moves. He has me. I will now do the classic trick the champagne in the newspaper. I will take the champagne, I will pour it in the newspaper like this. All the champagne in the newspaper like that. Oh no, champagne, oh no, champagne. <laughs> I'm not this. 
losing about three of them straight away. Hey, hey, yep. hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, I got sort of used it. Stop. No, my fault. I forgot. There used to be two of us. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first gag. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do a bit of balloon modelling. Alicia, I'm going to ask you to name an animal. Give me a challenge. Go on, give me a challenge. Any animal. Elephant. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's a lovely Any, Any other animal. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'll do. I've seen this done on Britain's Got Talent before, this mind-reading stuff, and I'm into that Durham Brown. He simply puts ideas into people's heads without them realising it. I'm going to make you think of a very specific animal now, Alicia. When you get a clear image of the animal that I'm sending to your brain, shout out the name of the animal so everyone can hear loud and clear, and woof, I'll make it as fast as that. <laughs> so when you get a clear image of the animal, woof, woof, that's how fast. What, just dog, say dog, dog, I've only got dog, four dog, minutes. Dog, right, four, dog, dog. Blue animal dog. Hardest part of this is blowing the balloon up. <laughs> His cheeks. <laughs> Forget it, I'll do something else. I'll do something else. <laughs> Enjoy now the beautiful sound of the Spanish guitar. I've just got to get the guitar which is situated just over here. <laughs> ching, ching. Para si no, no volverá más. <risa>